Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is my summer TBR. So I am doing seasonal TBRs this year because I felt like monthly TBRs were just too pressure filled and I'm a mood reader, but I still like to have some semblance of books that I am excited to read and interested in reading and when I look at my shelf I see, ah yes, I shall read that book. So I have selected, this time quite a few, of those books. So this is a very large TBR for just for a season in general, but also for this particular season, because I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done this summer. I'm certainly gonna try, but this is a big TBR. So I'm not expecting to read all of them, but I would love to read as many as possible. So let's get right into the TBR. I have really only two books that aren't fantasy. Like I'm planning on having a very fantasy heavy reading season this summer. But the ones that aren't fantasy are This Delicious Death by Kayla Cottingham. This is a sapphic, very queer summer horror. Uh, so this takes place at some sort of music festival and it's a very summery event and they're cannibals, which <laughs> is going to be a very new thing for me and I don't know how excited I am. But I am actually very excited because I read this author's debut novel last year and I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I think it's it's a good like horror summer book. So I'm definitely gonna give it a try and I'm excited. And then in the almost completely opposite vein, the other non-fantasy book that I cannot wait to read this summer is of course, Happy Place by Emily Henry. This is Emily Henry's newest book. It just came out and it's definitely like summer vacation vibes like a lot of her books are. So we are following a second chance romance where this couple uh, dated for a really long time and they're gonna go to like this like beachy kind of vacation with their friends However, they haven't told their friends that they have broken up So they're going back to this place and they are pretending that they are still together And I think they're just gonna get back together again anyway, but I love the bright pink solid color on the cover and it just screams summer in every aspect of this book and I've I've been a big fan of Emily Henry's other books so I'm really excited to read this I hope that I can just fly through it and uh, I'm ready I'm ready to do this let's go Emily Henry let's go now we can get into the fantasy based so a lot of this okay some of them are like good fantasy to read in the summer and some of it are just like I want to read this fantasy I want to devote time to it and summer is the best time for me to devote time to it. Like I'm going back to school in the fall, so I'm about to start having homework again. Ooh, yay. So I wanna get as many of these fantasy series and books done before that as I can. Starting with a great summer fantasy, The Adventures of Amina al Serafi by Shannon Chakraborty. And this follows a female pirate who's like ready to, to throw in the hat, to retire, to be done. But then a friend of hers is like, hey, someone like kidnapped my daughter, will you go get her back? So Amina al Serafi says, yep, I got you. And so I think it's just gonna be a great summer piratey fantasy. So I'm very much looking forward to this. It's gotten quite a bit of hype since it's come out. And even before it came out, people were getting all hyped up and excited for it. And that eventually won me over, so. This is the book that I will bring with me on my vacation. It's definitely gonna get read. Then I have an entire trilogy here that I want to read. City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. And like I said, I have the entire trilogy here. I have been wanting to read this for a very long time, pretty much like, I think this has been on my TBR for at least as long as I've been on booktube and that's been a few years now. So, it's about time that I actually read this trilogy. I think it's going to be a great summer read because it is a desert and actually in the month of May is the desertathon, desertathon, not the desertathon, desertathon. Um, and so that's very much putting me in the mood to read a desert fantasy, which I think is great for summer because it's hot and sunny and 
summary, I guess. So I'm gonna try my darndest to read as much of this trilogy as I can, if not the whole trilogy, but we will we will have to see with these chonkers. <laughs> but I know a lot of people love this books and a lot of friends of mine and people uh, really like them, so I'm excited. I also have two other very like aquatic-y style <laughs> fantasy books that I want to read, one being Crown of Coral and Pearl. Again, this has been on my TBR for so long. I know it's some sort of mermaid type fantasy, but when you go on my Goodreads and you go to my TBR, scroll all the way to the bottom to like first books added, this is the second book on that list. The first book is Journey to the Center of the Earth, but that's not important. This is the second book on that list. And my T Goodreads TBR is huge. So I don't even remember what this book is about. All I remember is that it's mermaid fantasy. So I've been wanting to read it in the summer. I just haven't gotten my hands on a copy of it yet. So hopefully, hopefully this year will be the year. The other like very obviously summer fantasy is Skin of the Sea. This is like a siren fantasy where sirens are a real thing, uh, but it's very much like our world plus sirens type of book. And there is actually another like companion book following one of the characters that influences a character in this book. So, so if I want to read that book, which I kind of do, I should probably, I want to start with this one. So I, I should read that one. Then I also really want to read the Guild series. This is a four book series. It is a King Midas retelling. Uh, so everything they touch is gold and it focuses on this girl. And it's, it's gotten like surprisingly good reviews for like, it's a romance kind of. I don't know if it's like a dark fantasy romance or if it's not dark, but I'm intrigued. I, I was very intrigued by the summary of it at first and then I heard people like reading it and they were like, oh my word, this is so much better than I thought and now I'm just all kinds of excited and ready to read it, so hopefully. Another good summer fantasy I want to read is Mirage. I believe this is a standalone, but it's another desert fantasy style, so there we go. Now this next one is another one that's been out for quite a while and I can't believe I haven't read it and I'm sure a lot of you can't believe that I haven't read them but uh, the Ember and the Ashes series. I haven't read any of those. I want to, I think it's another desert fantasy style. I don't know, I, all I know is that it got a whole like new cover release a while back and it has like, I believe the South Asian main character on the cover and that's super exciting and super awesome and a lot of people loved it. So I gotta hop on that train, I gotta do it. I just gotta leap right into the series and go. Speaking of South Asian main characters in fantasy, the Jasmine Throne is a chunky fantasy that I want to read, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know much more. All I know is it's, it's on my TBR, and so as soon as I have access to it, I will read it. And the final book on my summer TBR, this is such a huge TBR, I'm so screwed. There's so many good books on here. That is Witches Steeped in Gold. I believe this is like a Caribbean mythology-esque, or I think it was specifically Jamaican. I'm not super sure, but yeah. I mean, how exciting, right? And the second book just came out. I don't know if it's a duology or trilogy or what, but there is another book, so I need to get on this. Ever since it's come out, I've had my eye on it and I've been wanting to read it, so those are all the books. Again, so many series. I think, personally, I would prefer to start and finish one series than start, like, most of these. I want to be able to kind of just do start to finish. That's why I have the entire Dave Bad trilogy here, not just the first one. It's like I want to read the whole trilogy. Um, just because I don't want to be in the middle of like 10 series again, even though that is still my true for my current situation, but I don't want to make it worse. So I'm going to try and read series at a time. So wish me luck because I'm definitely going to need it. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below what is on your summer TBR. What books do you like to read in the summer? Is summer a time that you can devote to reading or is that actually when you're at your busiest or your most social or whatever? 
Um, I also have bookish social media linked down below so you can see what I do end up picking up and what I think about it. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe. I am posting videos only once a week over the summer, so make sure you hit the bell to be notified when those videos go up. But yeah, again, thank you all for watching this video, and until I see you in the next one, I wish you happy reading!